Houdini 21 is out and it has just released its first production build update. So I wanted to take a look at some of the things that you may have missed because there was a couple things that were added that I wanted to cover. So if we take a look at the Houdini homepage and we come over to our downloads, you'll see that we have the new version, which is going to be this new production version, I should say, that is going to be 21.0.512. I think we were on .440, if I remember right. That's the initial release. But if we come over to the support and you can come to this change log journal, it's going to bring you to this page. And you can see all the different updates that are added to... Houdini on these are the daily builds typically um, but all these compound into the production build so eventually you get to the production builds which you can then download which are a little bit more you know stable uh, but we can sort by the different things here so we have a, a bunch of different things you can sort by version keywords you can go up to certain builds but the thing I want to look at is this categories and we can come to Copernicus. So if we come to Copernicus, we can see all the changes that were made to cops. And specifically, there's a couple of things that were shown off in the new Houdini release. Um, as far as like when Houdini 21 was initially released that we haven't had the availability for yet. So some of them you can see right here are going to be the new grunge maps. So there are some more, I believe that aren't, included yet if i remember right i think there was more than this um, so there's a few that have been added now so we have the grunge aurora birch bark layered noise pine bark and rust we've also added in a crystal noise 3d cop so let's go ahead and jump into houdini and we can drop down a cop net and let's take a look at these nodes so if we type in grunge you can see all the different nodes that are going to be brought up here and if i drop down the aurora this is going to give you this type of a noise. But if we dive inside, we can actually dive inside of all of these and see how they're built. So these are going to be good for people that are learning. And I want to, I guess, kind of throw this out there. If you're new to Houdini, try to dive inside of basically every node that you can because there's a lot of nodes that are built on other nodes. Like they're just a bunch of nodes kind of thrown together. And you can learn a lot by just diving inside and seeing how side effects has gone about building the different nodes. And even with like things like your OpenCL, you can dive inside and read through this OpenCL and see how exactly they are doing different things. And you can learn a lot just by doing that as well. So we have a bunch of noises that are being layered together here. Let's go ahead and jump back out and let's drop down the other ones as well. So we've got a rust noise that looks like this. To be honest with you, I'm not sure that this one looks a lot like Rust with the default settings. I think it's more kind of noisy in my opinion, like uh, more fine grain noise when you look at uh, Rust in in pictures or whatever in real life. I feel like it's more of a, a fine grain noise, but it's just my opinion. So let's jump down the other grunges here. So we've got this birch bark. Gives you this, which looks pretty decent as a base. And then we've got a layered noise, which is just a bunch of noises that are kind of layered on top of each other here. So you can see that we've got a um, few different noises that are layered on here. And we can uncheck these and only include the ones that we want if we want to. So this is your base noise. Then you can add the, the cells on top. You have a secondary noise. And then you've got a secondary cells that just kind of add on top of that. So you can enable and disable all of these. You know, you can do the complement of them or play around with the element size and stuff. This is a good base for just having a bunch of noises kind of available to layer on top of each other without having to, you know, build it yourself. But again, this is going to be able to be dove inside of and see how this is built upon as well. And then you can obviously, you know, remake this or add uh, mirror nodes in that you want or play around with like the blend nodes for example to see what that gives you uh, but that gives you a good base of how to actually go about you know building something like this and then we've got the pine bark which again is another good base for a sort of pine bark type material so again we can also dive inside of these and see how these are being built so just more stuff to give you some ideas of how 
these are all going to be built and how you can actually go about to start layering noises on top of each other to build things that are a little bit more complex if you're new to COPS. And then lastly, we have the Crystal Noise 3D. Let's also drop down the 2D one. And the main difference here, if we look at this Crystal Noise, you can see in the secondary field, we have just an offset here which is a vector two. If I look at the 3D one, we have a, a three-dimensional vector, which we can offset like we could with the 2D one and X and Y, or we can step through this in 3D and have this kind of evolve as we step through this. So good to see that that's in there along with the other 3D nodes. So obviously we've got the Cloud 3D, the Fractal Noise, and the Whirly 3D, which basically just allow us to do the same thing, which is just kind of step through the noise in 3D space. So make it kind of evolve, if you will. And that is all of the new grunges that are going to be available in this new production build. I wanted to just throw this out here and remind people to you know check on these builds because I know in the past I haven't necessarily updated you know all the time but if you're looking forward to these nodes then these are starting to become available obviously I think there were more in the initial videos that they talked about that they were going to have I think there was like 12 of them or something like that so there are some that are available and there's obviously probably going to be some more that are coming. I'd like to see some more just general noises in Houdini being added. The more that we have available to us, the better as, you know, our just default nodes without having to build them yourself. Obviously, you can go through and build everything yourself if you have the knowledge to do so or able to, you know, read, you know, the papers and, and implement them yourself. But it'd be nice to have some more things available or the more stuff that we have available that side effects provides as um, you know official nodes, the better. So good to see these coming in and I'll be happy to check out the, the new ones as they come in as well. But play around with these, see what you can come up with and dive inside and see how they went about building these individual nodes. There's some cool stuff in here and some different uh, techniques for building things out if you're not uh, super experienced with cops yet. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.